Hey everybody, welcome back to another video from Breezy Organization. We are so excited to bring you one of our newest planners, a little how-to video on how to work our home planner. We are super excited about this. Since we released it a couple of weeks ago, we have had numerous purchases and lots of good feedback. So we're super excited that you all are loving it. And I wanted to show you today just a little bit of how it works, just in case you were curious. We had a few emails on it and I want to show you how the home planner works. So keep watching and we will go through all of the things. Okay, so the home planner, this is going to be the first page that you look at whenever you download this after you purchase it on our Etsy shop. So um, basically it has a picture of a house up here and then these little blocks represent little rooms in your house. And don't say, oh my goodness, I'm not building, I don't need this, I'm not moving, I don't need this. This is if you are redecorating, if you're remodeling, if you want to just design different things in your home, if you are building, if you are um, moving, you could use this for so many different ways. So don't cancel it out just yet if you are not building or you think it's just not for me. If you have a Pinterest board or several Pinterest boards with lots of home decor and home stuff on it, this planner is for you. I have two new planners. One is a Pinterest planner and one is a home planner. Basically, the Pinterest planner can hold all of your non-home stuff. And then I have a home planner specifically for all of those boards that you have, kitchen, bathroom, guests, um, all the different things that can go in a home now can be in several different boards and all of these boards have sub boards. So let me just dive right in. Okay. So basically all of these um, icons down here are clickable. So if you zoom in this, this is us frame is clickable and these two, whoops, I'm trying to add a picture here. Never mind. Um, these two nightstands are clickable and the bed is clickable. Now the nightstands go to the same location. The bed goes to a different location and the decor. So my thought process when I designed this is this would be the decor for your master um, bedroom. This would be the furniture pieces for your master bedroom or your uh, layout of the room. And then these would be storage. Again, you can use these however you want to but those are kind of the ideas that I had same thing for here storage furniture decor or three different links for your kitchen for your living room you have decor and then uh, your furniture laundry room these three boxes all go to the same link at storage this has a little bin that says cleaning so this would be cleaning tips and stuff this would be a decor piece and then your furniture or washing machines um, again, like if you're building a house or you want to buy new stuff, you could put lots of pictures of different washing machines from different places and compare them in prices and so on. And then the kids and guests, this goes to a separate link and then this tent goes to a different link. And then this allows you, if you have multiple kids and you want to have their own rooms and their own boards, it allows you for four more spots. So you actually get five underneath the kids. The office, the desk is clickable, the light and the chair. And then the closet, just one link there for the closet door. And then the bathroom, you have your decor pieces, your storage and the toilet paper, and then your bathtub for your furniture or layout and design. And then the outside of the house is clickable for curb appeal, yard, um, DIY projects for outside, deck, porch, all the things. Okay, so let's dive right in. If you click on the house, this is gonna kind of show you how it works. This first one is going to be your vision board. So this is this link to this board right here. This is your first main page underneath that first link. Then you have a link that says projects and DIY and I'll show you those. And then this originally comes blank. These one, two, three, four, five links are blank. So this allows you to have five more blank boards here for you to name or do whatever you want with them. And then, the, um, and then you can go back to vision board and then these projects and DIYs are underneath each different category. So you can have all of your living room projects um, in one spot. You can have all your outdoor projects in one spot. So it's super easy to find what you're looking for and not get overwhelmed with all the different projects and all the different things. This would be like our front porch project. Here's our colors we're wanting to do, or I could have named this the front of our house project since it is a garage door too. 
but we're wanting to buy a new front door, stain our front door, and stain the garage. And then these are going to be the breakdown of what it is, the to-dos, the do-buy, what we need to buy, and then the budget and actual over here. So they have four projects that go like this. And of course, you can duplicate these pages as needed. Underneath the DIY, we have a spot where you can draw out maybe what the room looks like or what you're wanting to redesign. I redesigned our pantry on one of these. You can put a picture of what you want it to look like, or you could put a before and after picture. You have your project name, the colors you want for it, and then the to buy, to do, and notes down here. So again, this projects and DIY are underneath each different board, but they all go to different pages. So you can keep all of your... Um, like the outside projects in this link and it's under the outside of the house. Anytime you want to go back to home, you click the home button up here. And that's basically the layout of all of it. So um, as you saw here, I just used, and some of these arrow stickers are included in a separate file whenever you buy this planner. So you can use these arrows, write down what you love about every picture, which I absolutely love because how many times have you been on Pinterest and you've found a picture that you really, really like, and then you look at it two weeks later and you're like, what did I like in this picture? <laughs> and this kind of lets you be able to actually draw out, hey, you know, I liked that, um, I wanna do this and so on. Okay, so um, another thing is, um, I just actually forgot that I had added onto this. This is the main vision board. Say you don't want another one actually named this, but you do want another board. You can also duplicate the pages. So if I slide over, I duplicated the vision board page and I showed the two colors that I'm considering for our front door and then the different lock systems that I'm thinking about doing. And it shows... Um, the prices so i can kind of judge okay this one was from this place it was this price that's my best deal so it's a great way if you're remodeling or um really doing any kind of project to save those screenshots of pictures and you can really decide exactly what you want to do okay going back home let's look at um, the kids pages this is my daughter underneath my daughter um she is my first baby so i put her underneath one this is the layout of her room this is a loft bed that she has in her room and then now i can finish designing the room how i want and you can have projects and diys underneath her and then this is a fun way to use these extra things they don't have to be home things so Underneath hairstyles, these are some different hairstyles I want to try on her. And I just wrote in hairstyles up there or typed it in. And then wardrobe. These are different wardrobe pieces that I would love to get for her. So you can absolutely use these for Christmas list. You can use them for really the sky's the limit. I mean, whatever you can think and dream up, that's what these could be for. Underneath my son's page, I have a little bit more going on with his room. I finally figured out what I want to do with his room. So this is a layout. Um, this is an accent wall that I want to do, the bedding, the name with the wood on the wall. And then I kind of drew out this and wrote in like what he would store in each of these containers to kind of see if it would work for his room. But this is the inspiration picture that I found on Pinterest. I love how she um, put these little vinyl decals on the front. And then this is actually from Ikea. So I took a screenshot of what it was and how much it was so I could kind of have everything in one place I also have the dimensions of the room so super fun and then I just imported a little picture of him and wrote down his name so it's just so much fun to play with okay going back to home let's see I'm trying to think of what else I have done some stuff with I just started actually being able to sit down and use this myself in the last couple of days um so this is a vision board for centerpieces these are some centerpieces I love over here I have I added in these holiday refrigerator organize or refrigerator organization I'm supposed to say I put organized and then pantry organization once you um add in your text and just drag it over on top of these it's super easy to do I don't know if you all know how to do that or not um, but you would just click anywhere you would type in, I guess I could have typed in something actual. Let's just type in decor. Okay. And then we are going to take our, oops, our lasso tool and we're going to drag this over here and we're going to put it there. And then you can always resize it if it needs to be bigger. And then an easy way to do this is to lasso copy and then go to the next page and press paste. And then that way you can name it on every page. But basically, I want to delete that so I don't get confused later. I have um, DIY. So this would be DIY and projects within the kitchen. I drew out what my big pantry looks like and I measured and I figured out which um, organizers would work best for this area because it's a super, super deep cabinet. And then I just wrote in what I wanted to do, um, what the 
items were called that I needed to buy, how many I needed to buy. I checked it off whenever I got it done. I put an inspiration picture of what I was going for. So super, super fun to have everything in one spot. You can have all your measurements, your to-do, your uh, what you're going to buy, screenshots of what the product looks like, the layout of your design, everything super easy and offline for you to be, uh, be able to access in the store. Um, okay, so basically I have holiday underneath here because I love redecorating for all the different holidays. So what a fun way to really be able to find your stuff really quickly, even in a store. Pinterest won't really load in stores and a lot of different stores, the internet won't work. So you can have, okay, what did I need to buy for my centerpiece? Okay, looking at this, I have this tray. Now I need some small decor. I need a couple of cups. I need, if you want to go exactly off of this look, and then you could also draw in what you loved about it or even make a checklist. Um, so much fun. There's literally, it's just endless, everything that you can do. Refrigerator organization. So if you're looking for certain bins while you're in the store, you can see what you need to buy or whenever it comes to actually reorganizing it, you can look at your pictures that you already have saved for it and everything is ready for offline use. Um, let's see, um, underneath closet, you could do wardrobe inspiration or you could actually redesign your closet. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I have on here. Underneath the cleaning tips, I don't have anything here, but I did add an oils tab because I am forever needing the recipes for the different oils that I use to help my kids go to sleep or to help from tummy aches and stuff like that. And what's really cool about this is you can add in PDFs or excuse me, pictures that are really small and you think, oh, I can't read that. Well, if you zoom in here, it's not too blurry where you cannot read it at all. It's still really, really good. So you could actually add all of your paper or pages in really small and be able to zoom in and still see, okay, yes, this is what I need. 10 drops of stress away, you know. Hallelujah. <laughs> I need that stress away. Okay, so that's basically an overview of the house planner. We're super excited about it. We hope that you are too. If you have any questions, let us know. Um, it is super fun to play with. I have a couple of videos of me actually importing stuff in so you kind of see how it all works. We hope that you absolutely adore this planner as much as we do. We had so much fun making it. We did draw all of these things individually, and they're actually available as stickers in our shop as well. Um, but we had a lot of fun drawing all this stuff out and making it look super cute and a way to use all of those Pinterest finds in a very easy format. So let us know if you have any questions down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.